Here. Here. I'm Andy Campbell. I'm with the Chronicle, and uh, I'm about to fight some dogs. All well, the dogs are going to take me down, um, do what they normally do uh, with their handlers, uh, who are both trained to take criminals down. And I'm going to have on a bite suit. I think he's going to take me by the arm, otherwise uh, he'd take me by the head, which is apparently not very good. But they're big dogs. I'll try to ward them off. I'll bring him in here, put him in and down. Like that? Yeah, and send him close to you because I don't want to let him get a full run at you for your first time. Okay. Keep your hands back, guy. Huh? Take it. Oh, I get a guy. Uh, what we're doing now is, is regional canine training, and what we do is we have the Thurston County and all the South uh, County guys come down and, and we do training as a, as a team. The goal is to put them in every possible situation that you might encounter on the street. That way, if you do encounter it on the street, it's not a, it's not a surprise to the dog or the hand. They're a locating tool. That, that is their main purpose. Uh, they, they help you find people that you can't see. Uh, a dog's nose is just unmatched as far as locating the sample. Oh, that's a I would definitely lose in a dog fight. <laughs> I feel good, but damn, if I wasn't wearing this, my arm would be off. As you can see, he's very protective of his handler. Um, a lot of times these officers will have the dog uh, when it's very, very young for its entire life. Um, they'll train with one handler. Um, and, and then at the end, the handler will sometimes adopt the dogs. So what, like, you've been tased, you've been attacked by a police dog, what's, uh, what's your next? Waterboarding. <laughs> Waterboarding. I think they'd love to do that next. Ugh. Suit's hot, isn't it?